Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. I wanted to go over kind of what's upcoming with the car. I got a, actually a lot of things coming, a lot of updates to the car. Uh, so I kind of wanted to just make a video, a little bit of an update, uh, explaining everything, what's coming in, and I need to get your opinion on something. First and foremost, obviously you see some things going on here. There's no headlights. Headlights have been sold. My current ones that I have been running for a while, um, those are off to a subscriber, some that follows me. So uh, we all know that I am getting brand new headlights, new 2020 STI headlights, but they're being customized and adding uh, some cool little things by Lightworks. Those are currently being worked on. As to time frame and when they will come in, uh, we're probably looking about one to two weeks from now. Um, so I will have an update once that comes in. I'm in the process of actually filming that video. So I filmed the video of actually explaining, you know, the, the old headlights, all the functionalities of those and everything. Uh, and then once the new ones come in, we'll be able to compare back to back um, and see the differences and all that. Uh, so the car is going to be down for, you know, another week or two, which is no problem. Um, but I figured I'd mention that because <laughs> obviously the bumper is off uh, and it kind of looks like it's in pieces. Uh, so that is to come. I've already explained that. So that is nothing new. So one other thing coming with the car is actually, hey guys, I caved. I'm going to eat my words on this one. Uh, I said I wasn't going to get the white uh, radiator shroud for here, but <laughs> I decided to get it. It was actually on sale. Um, so I figured I might as well scoop it up. I have everything else white as you know for the engine bay dress up kit uh, so i figured hey might as well just kind of complete it uh, i'm only going to be able to use this half of it because the second half as i've explained uh, doesn't work with the cob redline intake which is fine so if anybody is interested in this one uh, it will obviously come with the full shroud i actually have it up here in the parent box um, so if anybody is interested in picking that up, let me know. I'll sell it to you for a good price um, and we can get that taken care of. But yeah, that is coming in. It was one of those things that after I said it, kind of started thinking about it and mulling it over. I figured I might as well pick the white uh, and we we'll kind of just complete everything and not be mismatched and all that. So, um, so yeah, that's for sale. If anybody wants it, let me know. So something a little bit different coming in. I'm not really sure if many people know about this modification or, you know, it's really their style. Uh, but it's something that I have always, always loved uh, and seeing a company finally come out with an option for this car got me really excited. So let me go over and explain what it is. Now, one of my favorite things, um, I like adding accent colors if you guys haven't noticed. Um, you know, I don't like doing anything too crazy. I don't like adding uh, too bright of colors around the car and just being mixed matched and going crazy. Uh, so I like to kind of stick to one theme and just go with it uh, and, you know, make sure there's touches of it all around the car. Now, the only accent that I really have going on, you know, other than carbon fiber is uh, white. White is a color that obviously looks very good with blue, you know, contrasts very well. You know, it's not too in your face. It's not too much, I don't think personally. So one thing that I always love about German cars in the aftermarket world, for whatever reason, some company or multiple companies come out with uh, accents or, or strut bars or some type of uh, modification that goes behind the front grill. And what, am I, what I mean by that is, you know, whether it's uh, air scoops for the intake, whether it's braces, uh, you know, something that adds a little bit color behind the grill. Uh, and for me, I always loved the look of having, you know, a strut bar or, or some type of brace uh, behind the front grill with the nice contrast color to the color of the car. So I found this company pretty much on Instagram. They don't really, uh, you know, any advertising or anything like that. They're, they're pretty small, but they sell a brace for the front of the car. Now, we can argue that if it really adds that much uh, actual structural integrity uh, or really adds anything to the performance of the car, uh, for me personally, it's purely for cosmetic. But they actually sell a full steel brace, um, you know, it's basically just bars that go in the front behind the grill, it goes in front of the radiator, um, and you can get them in different colors. Now, you can do a full brace or you can do the half brace. Uh, for me, I went with the full. It's very hard to describe. I'll throw a picture up on the screen so you guys get an idea what I'm talking about. You can go with multiple colors. They give you a lot of options to go with. For me, obviously, you probably can guess I went with white. Um, and I think it's going to look really good behind the uh, the grill. You know, it's not going to stand up too much where it's obnoxious and just in your face. Uh, but I think it's going to look really, really nice. Got to add a nice touch of white and add some aggression to the front end. Even though the car is super aggressive the front, I think it's going to add a nice little touch. So... That should be in probably by next week. Uh, so I'll do an update video on you guys once that comes in, you know, I'll do a full review, install and all that. Uh, so that is also another reason why the bumper's off because you gotta take the bumper off to get to where you need to install it. Um, so I'm gonna leave it off for now. Expect a video on that. I think you guys are gonna like it. 
All right, so the next thing that I want to discuss and actually get your opinion on is the brakes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably know uh, what's going on and kind of the battle that I've been going back and forth on on what color to do the calipers. Uh, I've been wanting to change the color of the calipers for a while now, and I think now that the car has is down and I'm not driving it right now, um, you know, waiting for the other parts, uh, I think it's a good time to actually get the calipers done because I can throw it up on jack stands and go uh, drop off the calipers to get powder coated. Now, I'm debating between two colors. Um, I put up a poll uh, between two of these colors. I put up some uh, visuals and everything. I got one of my buddies to do a Photoshop of the two colors that I was interested in getting on the car. And a lot of you seem to be uh, kind of torn on the color like I am. Um, right now, I'm currently debating between uh, a white uh, and a yellow. Obviously, white goes with my theme. I just talked about changing up a few parts to white. Um, so that makes sense, you know, doing a very vibrant, bright white caliper, I think is going to look really, really nice. Um, keep in mind, both colors will have a black Brembo decal. So I'm not going to do anything crazy with that because I don't want to be stuck to a, you know, a certain color or a certain decal colors, anything fancy. I just want to kind of keep it simple. The actual color of the caliper, I think white is the mature way to go um, just because it would match everything, kind of flow around the car and, you know, just kind of tie everything in. Um, yes, I know going with these two colors, they're hard to keep clean. I am not too concerned about that at all. Uh, you guys know I take crazy care of my car in terms of, you know, washing it and everything. Um, and the calipers will be ceramic coated and all that. So I'm not really concerned about them getting dirty. Plus if they get dirty, whatever, it just gives me an opportunity to wash it, which I enjoy. So not a big deal there, but I am looking at a white and a yellow. Um, like I said, white would flow really well with all the accents I have on the car in the engine bay. Uh, but yellow, I mean, yellow and blue is just a pretty sweet, you know, combo. Matt from Obsessed Garage actually has two current cars with, you know, that are blue with yellow brakes, his uh, GT4 as, as well as his E92 M3. Uh, they're both a very similar blue to this, um, and it has some nice bright yellow Brembos on it. Um, now, obviously, I've always been a fan of that combo. Um, so, you know, when I naturally thought of it, I was like, wow, that would look pretty awesome on this car. Um, and, you know, some people say it'll match the the uh, lugs and the hub ring. Uh, but to be honest, I'll probably change those out, you know, do a black hub ring and get rid of the gold on the outside uh, of the uh, of the lugs. They actually just screw right off the color so you can change that. You can get black, red, blue, gold. Um, so I'll probably do that because uh, I wouldn't want it to clash because I would want to get a really dark, deep yellow, more like of an orangey yellow. Uh, I don't want to go too bright. I'm not really crazy, you know, neon highlighter colors. The 2018 plus STI brake color uh, is really nice. I really do enjoy it. Obviously, if I got them with the car, um, I probably wouldn't be changing them. Uh, but, uh, you know, if I have the choice to change the color, I don't think I would do that with this car because there's really no, you know, highlighter green on this. Uh, but they do look nice, uh, for, you know, from the factory. But like I said, I'd want I'd want to go with a really deep dark yellow, um, which I think would look really really nice. Uh, the only issue with that is there's no yellow on the car. I mean, we can all say gold and everything, but you know these lugs and these uh, hub rings over here, it's not something that I plan on keeping forever. Um, it's one of those things that I just wanted to try and run for a while and then maybe change it up down the road. And I don't want to be stuck to it, you know, an actual color uh, based on my wheel. Uh, that I obviously often change. So I wanna make sure the color that I end up doing is something that will kind of last the test of time. Uh, you know, I can basically change the entire car's theme and I won't be stuck on a specific caliber color because uh, of what's going on on the car. So honestly, between those two colors, uh, I don't think uh, I will go wrong, uh, but it's just a matter of choosing uh, the one right now. Ultimately, it's going to be up to my decision and what I personally want, um, but it would be really cool to get your opinion, kind of weigh some options. I've been getting a lot of great feedback on Instagram in terms of, you know, your responses and just people DMing me. It's actually been pretty crazy. It's kind of hard to keep up with everything. Uh, so I do appreciate the support and uh, all the help and all that. Um, it's really cool to see everybody that cares <laughs> and wants to kind of, uh, you know, give their opinion and help me out here. Um, I never realized how big of a topic this was. You guys are going nuts with this, which is a lot of fun for me. So um, I think it'll be a good video and I think it'll be a, a good opportunity to really kind of take this card to the next level. Uh, so let me know what color you guys uh, are preferring or what you like, um, and then it'll kind of help me decide. So uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah, we'll go from there.
So if you guys haven't noticed, I actually just clicked over 9,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is an absolute blast. I love doing this. Uh, again, not in it for the fame, the likes, you know, the money, especially, obviously that's not really, uh, <laughs> it's not really a big motivation here. Cause if anybody knows you don't make that much from YouTube, unless you're, you know, some big shot or something like that, which I'm clearly not. Uh, but I purely just enjoy sharing my knowledge, sharing the car, um, and just having fun in the garage. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. So I thank you for those 9,000 subscribers. Um, and you know, for wherever this goes, uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Uh, and the reason why I'm talking about subscriber count is because I have a pretty awesome giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. Now, this is something that I've teamed up with a company that I absolutely love, that I've been running on this car for a very, very long time, pretty much the entire ownership of this car. So we teamed up, um, got together and said, hey, let's do a giveaway on, on this specific product because it's a very popular one. And I think it would help uh, not only their company, uh, you know, bringing business to them, uh, but it would also help me as well. So once we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away, ready? Let's go on the inside of the car. I'm giving away a brand new iDoing Android head unit. So iDoing and I kind of went back and forth and we ultimately decided to do a giveaway on a brand new unit. Uh, it's going to be the updated version. So mine is, uh, like I said, three years old or so. So the processor and everything has gotten a little bit better. Um, the interface is a little bit better and faster and, and um, just, you know, updated. So it's going to be pretty much the exact, well, it is the same unit as mine, just updated and actually better. So I'm really looking forward to giving that away. Uh, I haven't really decided on the details of it and how we're going to give it away. Uh, but I'll, the only thing I know is I'm not giving it away until I hit 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you tell your friends, you know, share this around um, because I'm going to give it away for absolutely free uh, to one of you lucky people. Um, and it's going to be for any 2015 plus WRX or STI. So this unit, I've gone through it a million times of all the functionalities of it and everything. Uh, one of the best things about it is it has CarPlay, whether you're an Android or an Apple user. Uh, it actually has wireless CarPlay, so you don't need any dongles or, or anything like that. Um, you literally just link your phone and you're able to do wireless CarPlay, which is awesome. Uh, the screen is massive. Uh, I think it's just under 10 inches, actually. Now, once it comes in, uh, it's actually on the way right now. So once it comes in, I'll explain a little bit more about it. You know, go over the details. We'll actually, you know, run through the functionalities of this and everything and, um, you know, give the details of the giveaway. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd mention that because I'm really excited. It's one of those things that I've been waiting for. I've done giveaways in the past for smaller things. But for the next one, I wanted to make sure it was something, you know, worthwhile and something that you guys really wanted. Uh, and I know... The iDoing head unit here is probably one of my most requested and asked questions I get on anywhere, you know, whether it's on the channel or my Instagram. Uh, so that is going to be a really cool giveaway. So I also got a few other things in the works as well. Uh, yes, we, I'm talking about going to more power. I'm talking with a few companies right now. So I'm waiting to work out a few things on that. You know, going to stage three is one of those things that I'm uh, taking seriously uh, and I'm not going to really announce anything or um, you know start installing any parts until I'm 100% on the route I wanna go. Uh, I'm not going to start buying things and throwing them on because, you know, just to make videos. Uh, I'm only going to start making videos on that once I kind of obtained everything and have a clear direction uh, of where I want to go. Uh, so I can inform you guys exactly the direction and, um, you know, just where I want to take this car. And I also still need to do the diff and the transmission fluid flush. So uh, hopefully I can get to those this weekend. So maybe I'll have some videos out on that next week. I'm not really sure. Uh, you know what's going on i've already explained this but i am expecting my third child in a few weeks actually uh, so things may get a little different with the uh, upload schedule just because obviously i'll be a little bit busy you know handling the family and the uh the new arrival if i kind of disappear for a little bit don't be worried i'm fine just the upload schedule will probably be a little bit different i try to get some videos uploaded and kind of get ahead of schedule so i don't you know leave you guys hanging but we'll see what happens having a having a kid um you know kind of throws you for a loop for a little bit until you get your feet back on the ground and kind of used to the new lifestyle so uh don't be alarmed i will update you guys once i'm able to you know it's just a thursday night here i wanted to update you guys on what's going on with the car what's coming in what do i have planned i wanted to go over the giveaway a little bit because i'm really excited for that and uh, i didn't want to wait until i hit 10,000 to announce that giveaway because it's pretty exciting 
Uh, plus, I want to get to that 10,000 mark. I think that's a big uh, goal of mine. And I think uh, with this giveaway, it'll help me. It also help the company I doing as well, bring in uh, some nice business for them. So uh, looking forward to announcing that, showing it off and giving it away to one of you guys. Obviously, the car is going to be hanging out here for a few weeks, so there's not going to be too much uh, content with the car outside and driving and everything, mainly because I don't have any headlights and, uh, you know, the car's going to be up on jack stands uh, once I take the calipers off and, you know, send them out for powder coating. Uh, but I will make a video on that, taking them off and everything and kind of dropping them off at my uh, at the shop that I'm choosing. Um, when that will be, not sure. Like I said, um, you know, I'll update you guys with everything just like I'm doing right now. So... If you guys have any questions about the car what's coming you know how's my day going whatever i'll be happy to answer down in the comments below uh but yeah guys that's it for this one in the meantime keep it clean keep it simple and i'll catch you in the next one all right so i'm out for a little bit of a photo shoot it's been a while since i've actually taken some updated photos with a real camera uh, and i kind of just wanted to capture this moment sorry for the wind noise it's a little windy today but this car is looking insane I, I mean i know it's my car and everything but geez i haven't taken this car out uh, in the sun you know with it fully cleaned and with everything on the car and holy crap uh this car looks incredible uh, you know pictures and videos can only do so much but in person i mean if i don't say so myself this is uh i'm pretty proud of this thing this thing is uh, i'm completely blown away I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a few thoughts of, you know, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll get something different. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things I wanna try, but honestly, I needed this. I needed this moment where, uh, you know, I stepped out of the car and I just am walking around it and taking pictures and everything and kind of enjoying it. Uh, and it kind of just completely renewed my love for this car and where it, what I've done to it and just everything about it. It is absolutely put together perfectly for me. I love the way it looks, love the way it sounds and drives. It just looks incredible. Especially this color in the sun after ceramic coated and everything. Jeez, oh, this is honestly my favorite color blue. Uh, the only other color blue that I like out there that I like better than this uh, is San Marino blue on the BMW M3, which was, well, used to be an individual color. Uh, and then eventually you were able to order it from the factory, but lapis blue. No question, the best color on the uh, VA 2015 plus WRX or STI.